stroke can affect vision because the part of the brain, it's back here, the occipital lobe could be affected. So what we see and process in the back of our brains can be affected. Part of your field of vision could be you may not be able to see part of your field of vision or you might not be able to process and recognise what you're looking at. Following my stroke, I had um, visual problems in my right eye, which was blurriness and also um, loss of vision towards the, the, inner, the inner part of the eye, towards the nose. Um, it's just completely black. The first thing I noticed was that everything was darker about 40-50% darker um, and that really hasn't improved. I've got used to it if you like. The other thing is everything out of focus. According to the Stroke Association, they said blurry it probably means the same thing. Visual problems are one of the hidden effects of stroke and sometimes don't get easily or quickly diagnosed and it is common. About, in fact, two thirds of people who survive a stroke say that they have some sort of visual disturbance. If there's three people sitting on a city, I probably only see one, or certainly at first, even on the TV, you know, only a foot apart. And from I was scanning it further, there's actually three people on the city, you know. Within three or four days of my stroke, I rapidly realised that I was getting double vision. So I called on the ophthalmology unit at the hospital which I was in and they came straight away and they put a prism on my glasses to try and solve the double vision which worked and gradually they reduced the strength of the prism to um, a point where it was almost pretty much not needed and that's, that's the one that I've got in now. When I, it wasn't until I came home from the hospital and I realised myself um, that the blurriness in my eye was, had continued and also the, the blackness on the inner eye that I um, went, to the, went to my optician and spoke to him about it. When you have visual problems, this can be a sudden change along with all the other effects of stroke and it can mean that everyday activities um, are affected. You, you know, even being able to move around your home safely or to go outside and interact with other people can be difficult. Driving can be affected, of course, as can returning to work or returning to activities that you enjoy. For many people, vision does improve. It can be worse in the first few months after a stroke, but we know the brain has the ability to relearn, so people can improve. However, for some people, they will be left with significant visual loss, possibly for the rest of their life. Problems with vision aren't always diagnosed because they're hard to actually assess and, and uh, find out. In hospital, you should have an assessment um, to find out you know, what sort of problems you may be having. If you've returned home and it's now becoming evident that you're having difficulties or problems with vision or other people are recognising your problems, um, you need to be referred via your GP back to the stroke service or to an orthoptist or an ophthalmologist. I spoke to the ophthalmology unit at the hospital um, where I was being treated for the stroke and uh, they came instantly and dealt with it and I had a prison me in within a few hours of, of you know, saying that I'd got a problem. And I was then under the care of that ophthalmology unit for about 12 months after the stroke. After I'd seen the optician, I was just advised regarding the visual field loss that, that there was nothing that, that could be done to correct it. but the normal two yearly eye examinations that most people have because of the stroke would now have to be done on a yearly basis every 12 months. The people that can help for, with visual problems are firstly an optician. An optician can give you a sight test, so that's to, to find out whether you have difficulties with your long vision or your short vision, you know, are you having difficulties with reading. They can prescribe glasses, for example. They can also refer to other services. Um, as can the GP. So your GP can refer you to um, an orthoptist or an ophthalmologist. An orthoptist will look at eye movement difficulties. Uh, an ophthalmologist is an eye doctor based in the hospital. 
The, the eye hospital will also have an, an eye clinic liaison officer and this is the person who can give you more emotional support and also give you uh, advice and guidance for aids that could help you with your vision. Sometimes there are visual rehabilitation officers as well from the hospital as well as your social services so your council social services department will have sensory impairment teams and they can often come out and do an assessment of your home to help you um, move around your home with the kind of changes you, you've got with your vision. They can give you aids and prescribe aids and show you ways to use them and also make use of the vision that you have left, your good vision. If, if you are experiencing visual problems then this is something that mustn't be dismissed. You must, it, it's really important to seek medical advice or the advice of an optician because the eyes are so important and there may be something that can be done that can correct the problem that you've got. Vision can improve as anything can after a stroke. However, it's important to practice tasks and also to learn coping strategies really to sort of adapt and learn how to deal with your loss of vision and improve things.